Yeah. How are you both feeling right now? I'm feeling just as concerned. I'm feeling like um, they did something so obviously crazy that they deserve to get caught. It was blazing for me. And when I go home and tell my grandkids that their father just as I served, that's going to be a big burden lifted off my shoulders. Lucas Media, what you just heard is Mama Duck. Uh, Oblock was found guilty of murder of FBG Duck. Now, Duck was killed in August of uh, <clears throat> 2020 on the Chicago uh, Gold Coast. He was down there buying uh, apparel. Now, for those who don't know, the Gold Coast is like Rodeo Drive, um, like the Fashion District, the Manhattan, Miami. So the feds got involved, right? And they came down with a verdict. They got all, they got, everybody's found guilty. Charles C. Murder, guilty of five or seven accounts. Kenny Mack Robinson, the last driver, found guilty on the same accounts. Uh, Carlos Los offered. Also guilty of five counts. Christopher C. Thang Thomas found guilty of three counts. Ralph T. Z. Turpin found guilty of two counts. Muwa found guilty of five counts. So what I just read to you is one, two, three, four, five people that are found guilty for FBG dub. So that means six lives is lost six brothers lives is gone because i'm from illinois grew up not too far from chicago illinois they're gonna throw the book at you murder is, is mandatory at least 60 years so you knew this was gonna happen now some might say well duck came out with the diss song which was his biggest record dissing people and i know that brings out anger because Believe it or not, we sat back, and when I mean we, I mean the people who was feeding into it. People thought the war of Chirac was just entertaining, but you had young brothers and sisters losing their life every day. You see an artist come out, he'd be out for a few weeks, and then he gone. So I, all that anger and frustration, and uh, I forget which artist, but he was on video and said, don't say that. All I, all I know is, don't say nothing about Troy or... You know, the, um, the person who video to try to edit out, but it was too late and <coughs> excuse me, y'all. But let this be a lesson. It ain't worth it. There's nothing wrong with being a square. And the thing about this isn't in the 80s or whatever, even the 90s when cameras wasn't everywhere. You open fire on people on the Gold Coast in Chicago. There's thousands of cameras everywhere. Louis Vuitton down there, Gucci down there. You really think that they let... They about to let y'all mess up their district. Yeah, you can do those on certain sides of Chicago, but downtown, where that's at, that's not happening. And nobody should be surprised. The feds got involved because, you know, them big power companies down there, they might pull out. Ralph Lauren might pull out. Gucci might pull out. Fendi might pull out. So you knew that they was going to get caught at some point. And, you know, it's just unfortunate because... You know why Duck is gone. These brothers is gone now. And I'm not sure if they have kids. But they kids. If they got parents still. Siblings. They finna spend the rest of their life. Or the majority part of their life. Behind bars. Even if some of these people were to come out. YouTube and internet would be obsolete by then. But which I heard. Like I said. The original part. The original part I played. That was Mama Duck. Um, I understand her pain. This isn't the first child that she lost. Brick had just passed away prior to that. And then I remember she told Vlad she lost a daughter in a fire, house fire. So this is unfortunate all, all the way across. I mean, and Duck was also a talented artist, you know, and it just it just makes you wonder, like, what if these brothers came together? What if Chicago came together and everybody was helping each other out like how most people did down here in the A? And like I said, I'm from Illinois. I know about 
the politics and everything up there is just it's just sad man but i just want to get my two thoughts on it what do y'all think